Hello, Professor Guy Chase here. A lot of you guys know me as Guru Guy Chase, but actually my rank is Professor. Uh, usually when you start out, you're a student, and then as you do your three-year term, then you become a Panam Guru, and then as time goes on, you become a Professor, and then as much time goes on, you become a Tuhan, and then you become a Pan Tuhan. That's the official rank in the Kali system, so I want you guys to know that. But the reason why we're here today is because we want to go over some historical and we want to go over some literature of the Kali. So that being said, we think it's really important that you guys know the literature on any type of physical um, art that you're doing, whether it be grappling, whether it be Kali, whether it be boxing, whether it be Muay Thai, you should know um, the literature uh, side of it. It just enforces everything that you do on the physical level. If we if we can kind of focus up here, I kind of put this picture up here that's a famous painting from uh, Benita, who's actually um, painted the famous painting of the blood ceremony back in the day. So what happened was is the underground fighters from the Philippines, I mean in the regular people, townspeople and stuff, they s swore secrecy from a blood ceremony. and. Um, you can see that in the, in the famous painting that they would prick themselves and sign their name in blood. And then you would see the flag behind here that has the three K's, okay? And that was the official flag of the Philippines, um, was the KKK, which meant uh, uh, certain other elements like, you know, loyalty to your country, loyal, loyalty to your family, love and support. So those three Ks represented a, uh, a nation uh, with loyalty uh, citizens. But if we come down here to the Villabolo system, Villabolo Lagusa system, you can see the I's in the triangle, which are actually Ks. So these are just I's to us, but they're actually Ks in Zion language. And it just means K, 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 okay? And those three Ks mean uh, certain things. So if we talk about the universal triangle, on, that's the K that we're talking about. You know, if we're talking about the uh, rhythm triangle, see, which is over here, um, uh, call, we, you know, we, 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 we talk about on the rhythm triangle, we talk about, you know, Kali Kali Han. And I'm looking down because I'm just kind of, you know, reminiscing and, and trying to point these out to you. The uh, internal triangle here also, see, so you get the internal triangle, you have the rhythm triangle, and then you have the universal triangle. They all mean a certain aspect, which I'm going to go over with you in a moment. But if you kind of see why this is up, in the old patches back in the old days, you would sometimes see a K and a K and a K uh, on the old master's patch. Uh, I think Floral, um, Grandmaster Floral Villarreal wore it as well. They changed that in the early 70s so they wouldn't come a conflict in America. Uh, but the original was KKK, but they changed it to the Visayan eyes, which represents the case. So if we come over here now, we can see how the Lagusa Kali system, uh, Flo Villarreal Lagusa system, had influence on the Inosano system. So in the Inosano, we can see his triangles, okay? And we can see the universal triangle, same thing here, right? And then we can see the rhythm triangle, which is over here, see the same thing. And then we can see like the internal triangle, you know, which is over here as well. So uh, you can see the influence that Lagusta and Flo Villavilla had on Inosano, and Inosano has his triangles as the same. So let's talk about like what these triangles mean. I want to read it word for word what uh, Ben Lagusa said himself, okay? So if we talk about the universal triangle, right? The universal triangle, top one here. So the universal triangle, it deals with the prayer of tension, a goal, right? Is our connection with the spiritual aspect of Kali through the use of a Russian ahalat, which means your prayer or your bow, your formal bow or your prayer before you train, okay? Um, it's discipline requires one to pray correctly, sincerely, in, in concentration to have the correct attitude and passiveness and humbleness and submissiveness and to cultivate the spirit of giving. Really, really super important, okay? Then we come down to the internal triangle, okay? So the internal triangle, okay? It is our Arashian or our way calling the fourth power, okay? The internal power. 
Its discipline requires one to train with slow movements, concentration, and controlled breathing, developing maximum physical strength, which will increase one's ultimate strength, and to correct, utilize your rush yarn to bring forth the internal power. So that's really, really important as you guys train. So now we're going to get down to the rhythm triangle, all right? So we talk about the rhythm triangle, which basically means the head, hands, feet, right? But if we, if uh, Lugusa states uh, clearly, right, it deals with the physical aspect of fighting, right? It is our method in unified mind, body, so they are coordinated and can be act as one. Its discipline requires one to learn to strike the hand and feet first to break the triangle, okay? To practice so that each movement becomes part of you and to train and develop endurance. So it's really important that you understand these K's or these I's, right? Or the KKK or as we know them, right? As the universal triangle, the internal triangle, and the rhythm triangle. They have a very deep meaning as you train. All of my masters, from Carl Gotch to Herman Swander to Ben Lagusta, Mel Lopez to Inno Sano to Laca, they all force you, or all did at one time, Herman Swander, right? They all force to train on not just a physical level, a literature level. You have to train on a literature level as well. You have to train on an eternal level. It will make you a lot more in debt in your training. So it's extremely important that you kind of study this stuff. And this is a great time to get out your books and put your nose to the book um, and study this stuff. And if you can't get it, just ask somebody or uncover stones, as I say. And if you uncover stones, you certainly will find it. Okay? So, again, great time to study this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.